Let's go! It's just a different mentality to wrestling than anyone else in the northern part of California. There are some really good teams, but I don't think anyone uh, strives to have the level of success that the, the Gilroy Mustangs has. And um, it shows every single time we step on the line. I want to be the guy that took a program that was already great, already good, and made it great. I want to change the mentality. You know, this is a team that they've been state runner-ups. We've been second in the state three times total, twice in a row. But I want to change that. I want the second to not be good enough. I want to win state titles. One, two, three. I coached at Oklahoma State eight years after I graduated. I was on the coaching staff, coached the Cowboy Wrestling Club program down there. I've had my wrestling program in San Jose for six years now. When this opportunity presented itself, it was I jumped right on it. Marco Sanchez was the principal, and he was an Olympian. He knew I lived in town, and you know he reached out to me and said, "Would you be interested in doing this?" I said, "I'm a guy that likes to chase things, you know." And yeah, it'd be cool to have a program for my young kids to feed into, and also uh, we try to chase down the state championship. And knowing the history of the Gilroy Wrestling Program, knowing how much this community loves wrestling, it, it was an easy decision. Pin him! Pin him! Pin him! The best way to describe DC is. He's really fun, energetic, a great coach. The best way to, to describe DC is a, a father figure. The best way to describe DC is involved. When it first came in, it was uh, very different. You know, I was really like starstruck kind of by him, but having him kind of as a coach now and getting used to it, um, I kind of see him as like a normal person. It feels great, like having this coach is a really good coach. It's different just to like, to see people stop him at the airport or something and like ask for an autograph, but it's cool because we know that He's, he's already like so accomplished that um, his plan should work. It's nasty, right? Being at the level he wrestled at, um, Olympic level and NCAA level, he has a lot of fine tuning stuff where it's very small details that they will transition to us, that us knowing definitely puts us at our game that's very high. He's almost like one of us, like a college kid, I would say. And I think it's amazing knowing that as big as he is, as famous as he is, he still wants to give back to the community and take a little high school, you know, um, the older one in our community, and just really like, keep the wrestling program going. And for someone like him to step up, it just shows like his true character and how much he really cares for you. First group on the mat. Let's go. Uh, being around these kids just gives me a different motivation. You know, obviously you find joy in, in, in winning for yourself, but watching these kids accomplish great things is, it's amazing. Over the course of the, the first year and a half, we've had uh, six kids go to college and five go to, or sign and commit to Division One University. So uh, the reason that we did this is actually showing itself right away. I'm just glad to play a part. You know, if I can be there when they sign scholarships, and, accomplish things that they didn't think they could initially, I did my part. It, it'll be hard to be remembered as the greatest coach in Gilroy history unless I win some state championships and I have every intention on doing that. And then I want my son to wear a Gilroy singlet. You know, he's, he's eight now and uh, I can't wait until the day that he wears that Mustang blue and goes and steps on the mat.